this. Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I like to rig up our new Slam Series scented paddle tail. This is the Fred Color, F R E D, stands for Fooling Redfish Every Day. However, it will catch multiple species. I've caught snook, redfish, trout, and even flounder on this color selection. So, what I'm going to do is show you my favorite ways to rig up this lure. Now, I mainly like to fish paddle tails, you know, on the flats, four feet of water or less. Uh, other people, you know, they like to fish docks, deeper structure, and I'll show you some rigging options for that as well. But for the most part, I'm going to be using weighted twist lock hooks. This is the owner twist lock hook. This one in particular is the 3 aught one eighth ounce. I like to use this for paddle tails because with that tail kicking action, it usually makes this lure ride a little higher in the water, col uh, water column. And if you go with a 1 16th ounce, you're going to have to reel it really slow to keep it in the strike zone because you want to keep this lure a little bit closer to the bottom, if not just up off the bottom in that mid to lower area of the water column. So a 1 8 ounce works really well. So when you rig this up, what I like to do is make sure you know, as usual, make sure the lure is straight on the hook. So using that centering spring, just go through the nose of the lure, twist it on like so. Make sure it's pushed up all the way to the eye of that hook. You really don't want any of the spring exposed. And then there is a slot in the belly that you can slide the hook into like so. Pop the hook out the top and then you can barely skin hook it if you'd like to. Now, if I am fishing open water where there's really not a lot of structure that I'm gonna get snagged on, what I like to do is actually leave the hook point exposed because that can help increase your hookup ratio if you're fishing in an area where you really don't have to worry about catching too much grass or structure or anything like that. Now, also, there really isn't any wrong way to rig up a paddle tail. You know, you can actually Flip the lure upside down and have the slot or the belly face up and that allows you to rig this weedless without having to skin hook the actual lure. So just to show you here, going up through the belly like so, as you can see that hook is inside the slot of that bait and it can easily get exposed when a fish strikes as opposed to burying the hook in the plastic. So just a little extra tip there. Now the tail obviously is upside down, but doesn't really matter. That tail is still going to kick in the water. As long as there's any water resistance on it, it will kick nicely. And then also aside from the actual hook, you know, the knot that you use to connect your hook to your leader, I like to go with a loop knot. That just allows for more play in the lure. If you want to, you know, bounce it around, have a little bit of a erratic motion, you know, you can put a loop knot on there and that will give more freedom for the hook to move as opposed to having a knot that is snug to the eye of the hook. And then moving on to jig heads, jig heads are going to be more ideal if you're fishing a little bit deeper water or you're fishing in current, you know, four feet of water or more, that's when I'll switch to a jig head just because it gets that bait down faster. Again, you wanna fish these paddle tails close to the bottom because that's where the predators are at. So with a jig head, that makes the lure nose heavy. So that's going to allow it to dive down a lot quicker. And again, same thing when you're rigging up on a jig head, make sure that lure is centered. That hook goes through the center of the nose and keep it straight. As soon as that hook or that lure rather starts to bend and it gets close to the straight part of the shank of the hook, that's when I'm going to come out the top of the body. And then you're just going to slide it over the barbs very carefully like so. Give it a little bit of a pull back there. And there you go. This jig head here is the trout eye jig head. Works really well and it gives it a nice presentation as well with that eye on there. Sort of acts like a target for fish when they hone in on it. And then lastly, as far as the weight is concerned of the jig head, you're going to want to have various weights, you know, everything from about an eighth ounce to a quarter to uh, possibly a half ounce or even three quarter ounce, uh, depending on how strong the current is, how deep the water is, or a combination of both. You know, it could be deep, really strong current, and that's when you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna go with a heavier jig head. 
So again, just some quick rigging tips for our new color of our Slam Series scented paddle tails. Again, this is the FRED color, which stands for Fooling Redfish Every Day. You can pick them up at our shop page at fishstrong.com. And keep in mind, if you are one of our insider members, you do get up to 20% off everything on the shop page. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.